Okay, a few people have pointed out that since Karen is having a amniocentesis, I I'm confident I said that right. Um, that even though Karen is having twins, it is still possible for the doctors to test Zach's DNA to the different genetics that are, you know, inside of Karen right now to determine if he is one of the fathers or the father of the children. And also this kind of test will show if the infants are experiencing any abnormalities. And on top of that, another person pointed out, well, this is a painful process. So you would think that Karen would want Aaron to be tested as well. That way you can knock them all out at the same time, as opposed to simply having it where Zach is the only one who's tested. And what if it turns out he's not the father, if they are able to pull the genetics and compare it to his and he's not the daddy then what because if you remember there is a um another new character i believe her name is kathy uh she's a physician's assistant she's a plus size black woman with a big personality and she gets handed some touchy jobs that require a little dip diplomacy which aren't her strong suit kathy has to take some blood samples for a dna test and the gentleman involved might need a fainting couch before Kathy is through with him. Now, I do not know what episode Kathy is supposed to appear in, but let me see if I can do some quick research because if I can find my actor's access files, this should tell me exactly what I need to know. So please bear with me. Si no, actually, that's a team of stuff, not sisters. Okay, so forget what I said. I do not have that information on hand, but I'm guessing since um, Karen is having twins and combined with the real world logic of current technology, not being able to give accurate DNA tests for twins due to, you know, so much DNA in the fluid and bloodstream of the pregnant woman. I'm wondering if rather than a simple saliva swab, Zach is going to have to, you know, donate blood in order to be sampled for this particular test. Now, it does say, and the gentleman involved might need a fainting couch before Kathy is through with him. It doesn't say Zach. It doesn't say Zach, but it could be Zach because if you remember the, um, the character description for uh, Danny's therapist, it says, Open ethnicity, petite, this friendly sage therapist conducts an awkward first therapy session with a closed off client remaining reassuring and patient throughout she is honest and expects honesty in return now we know now that she's referring to danny but it simply says a closed off client so in terms of kathy she could be getting a blood test from uh or excuse me a blood sample from uh zach and this could be kind of a karma thing in a way where you know Karen was like, oh, you wanted me to get a DNA test? Well, all they need from you is a cotton swab of your saliva. But for me, <laughs> yeah, they got to stick a needle through my stomach. So this could be her way of playing. Ha ha, Zach, this is what you get. So yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting to see how things turn out. So yeah, um, I agree with the people that say that she should be testing more than one person at once. But uh, I'm no expert at this, but I don't know the, well, maybe the, Maybe it's for sanitary reasons. After they do this kind of test, they throw out the samples or something as opposed to keeping them. So let's say if Zach turns out not to be a match at all genetically, then she may have to get another test like this again or just opt to wait until after the babies are born and go from there so they, they get tested properly. So uh, what do you think about all this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next video.